Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing a subscriber request video where I'm going to show you how you can create a normal map for an entire scene. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a low poly street with high poly detail. Here we go. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're going to start with our uh, high poly. Uh, for that, we're going to take a uh, polygon plane. We're going to hit R to uh, scale that out. I'll just hit F to zoom in so we can see it a bit better. And we're just going to do a small segment of an alley, right? But, um, you know, just to give you an idea of the process, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start um, with this as a flat floor reference so we know what we're working with. We're going to right click go to edge and I'm going to select these and these, all right? We're going to control E to extrude, W to push up like this maybe a bit less and then G to repeat last command and R to uh, flare out and we'll do a little bit of a uh, curb situation okay and then G to repeat once again and W to push up and this is going to be our wall right now again keep in mind this is a section of an alley right okay so what we need to do here is um, let's see we'll keep this as a low poly for now right so I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to hit Control D to copy it, move it over, and we'll use that to create our high poly. So let's uh, hide this guy. Hit H. There we go. What we're going to do first is we're going to jump into our top view. Come on. Yep. And we're going to go into our modeling toolkit. Take our multi-cut tool, and we're going to hold on Shift, and we're going to create something here. And something here and try to get them basically pretty even of course Q on your keyboard right click go to edge double click on that hit W and maybe slightly move it okay so what's that for well I'll show you in a second but let's uh, move them a little bit first that's about right I'll double click on that and that's about right as well. So I'm going to double click on both of them. I'm going to go to uh, Edit Mesh and Bevel. Let's set that fraction to 0 0.02, maybe a bit more, 0 0.08, hmm, 0 0.05 is okay, right? So we're going to right click at a face. We're going to click and shift, double click, click and shift double click there you go control E to extrude and W to push down just a little bit okay then we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click go to edge and we're gonna click on these edges and go to uh, edit mesh and the bevel again let's go in and set that fraction and add some segments looks about right and then if you want to be really precise about it you should or could break up these individual concrete segments the curved sec section is there if you like and uh, yeah why not let's uh, actually let's not do that we're not going to go overboard right okay so we're good so uh, next we are going to go in and uh, look at the bricks in the street okay so first we're going to create one and we're just going to focus on that for a sec here hit F to zoom in let's stretch that out until it's starting to look like something that would be good for this looks about right we're going to take the edges here and we're going to go to edit mesh and bevel and then let's see we'll do two there it's fine object mode and then we're going to hit w and we're going to move that in here okay i have to zoom in it's way too big of course r to scale way 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 down and as always proportions are really important I have to zoom in i think that looks about right so we're going to hit e to rotate to hold on ga and we're going to rotate that 45 degrees okay and then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move up, rotate that guy 45 degrees, but in opposite angle like this. 
We're going to W, and we're going to move these two together like this, and be very precise about it. Okay. And then we're going to select them both, go to Mesh and Combine. Now, then what we're going to do is we're going to move this over way, way over here. Okay. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate it, W to move it. Have to zoom in and again be very precise. Okay, and you're going to hit Shift D and work your way over to the other side, all the way to the other side. All right. So now that we have that in place, we're going to drag select all of that. We're going to deselect this. We're going to go to Mesh and Combine. We're going to Control D to duplicate, W to move up. Have to zoom in to get this in very precise once again. Okay, and then you're going to hold Shift D and work your way all the way up until you have covered everything. And then what you can do is drag select this, shift to drag select that, hit control D again, and pull that down. And again, we need to make sure that we have a good fit here. So I'm gonna to go to mesh and combine. Now I can hit the insert key, move my pivot point way up here. Hit the insert key again, hit F to zoom in. That should work, but we'll do it this way, it's fine. And let's bring that in and again make sure we got a nice fit. Okay, so let's see what we got. Not bad. Uh, however, if we drag select all of this, let's do that and go to mesh and combine. You'll see that the floor surface is completely flat, which is something that's not normal. It should be a little bit bent. Okay. So we're going to select this guy, we're going to go to Deform, Nonlinear, and Bend. And uh, let's see, we're going to rotate our bend handle, hit E to rotate, hold down GA. Let's see if we're facing the right direction. So we're going to hit Control A to open up the Attribute Editor, go to the Bend tab. Okay, there you go. Now this should be a very, very light curve. Have to zoom in for, for wireframe mode. And you don't want to go overboard on that. You don't want to do this, of course. You want it to be very, very, very slight. That looks about right, maybe a bit more. Okay, there we go. We're gonna hit W, uh, hang on, we're gonna to go to object mode, there we go. We're gonna to go to edit, delete by type history to get rid of that curve. And then we're gonna raise that up just a little. Okay, looks good. Alrighty, so now that we have that, let's look at our tiles. Okay, so we need some tiles here. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create another polygon cube. Pull that in. R to scale down. F to zoom in. W to push up. Push that down again. Maybe a bit more than that. We're gonna right click, go to edge. We're gonna take those edges, go to uh, edit mesh and bevel. Looks good. And we're gonna W and we're gonna bring that in here, okay? Now, for that, we need to have a look. We're gonna bring that in here and we need to have a look whether our dimensions are okay. And they are, in my opinion, way too big right now. So we're going to bring that down to about there. Let me just have a look at the top here. Let's see, that would be one, two, maybe three. Okay, so we'll, we'll see. All right. Just trying to make sure that they're not too small. They seem a bit small. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just hit Control D to duplicate it, and we'll try to make two of them fit. Okay, so F to zoom in. Okay, three then. 
Right, so we have that. We're going to bring that in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh and uh, Combine. So now we can hit R and we can kind of scale that back until we have three that will fit. Don't worry about those stones right there. We're going to W, we're going to bring that in. And then we're going to hit R to slightly bring that back. All right, and there you go. Basically, we're going to follow the same principle. So we're going to hit W. We're going to move that way back here. Make sure you cover everything. And again, you know, this is going to be our high poly. So we've got faces and places where we don't need them and so forth. Don't worry about that. You know, we're going to use it for our bake. Okay. So hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to move that over. And uh, let's see from our top view. Make sure we get a nice clean fit there. And then we're going to hit Shift D to work our way all the way up. Okay, like that. Looks okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag select all of that, deselect this, deselect that. Control D to duplicate, W to move over to the other end. And let's see, where are we at? Okay. So this is what we have so far. Now, problem is that things are just a bit too clean, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag select this. We're gonna go to mesh and separate. So now we can go in and we can tweak individual tiles after going to modify and center pivot because you don't want to have them go off too much. Just want to break that surface here and there. Okay, so we'll maybe do one here. Go to modify center pivot. So when you look over that, you will notice that it's not you know perfectly straight, and that's what you want, right? Okay, so uh, now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, take this thing. And we're going to go to mesh and combine. And like I said, a lot more you can do there, you know, kind of twist and, uh, and so forth. You can take one of these bricks here, do the same thing. But right now we have that combined. So I'm going to go to display and uh, show all. Okay. We're going to take our low poly. We're going to move this in. And let's see how close we still are and whether we need to do any or a lot of adjustments. That doesn't look too bad. Maybe with the exception of the floor there. So if you go to vertex on this guy only, hang on, let me uh, do that again. Vertex. Come on, come on. Object mode, vertex, and there we go. All right. So I'm going to drag select these and then slightly bring them up just so that our bake will work a bit better. And it's probably even smarter to bring them up to the surface of our brick if we want to have a good projection. Right, and then maybe we need to go in and take those curves here and do a slight bevel on them, okay? So we'll just uh, get rid of this guy for a sec. Hit H. Go to Edge.
and we'll do uh, edit mesh and bevel, right? Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to UV the low poly. So we're going to go to uh, turn back on our grid here. And let's see, display and show all. All right. So I have my low poly. I have my high poly. I'm going to UV the low poly, which is basically extremely simple. So I'm not going to go through that. I'll put a link below, um, you know, towards my UV uh, playlist if you don't know how to do that. And then I'll uh, tweak a couple of these rocks and so forth until I'm happy with how everything is positioned. And then I'll see you guys in Substance Painter. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, guys, well, we're in Substance Painter, as you can see. And we're going to go up to uh, File, New. Uh, I'm just going to discard whatever I had going on there. Uh, we're going to select uh, PBR Metal Rough and I'm going to select my low poly mesh uh, right there. And I'm going to set my map size to 2K. That's fine. And let's hit OK. That's going to load up my uh, low poly. And as you can see, it's uh, completely as modeled. It's, uh, you know, just a slight curvature to the uh, floor here. But other than that, very basic and very low poly, all right? And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna bake our textures. Now, that's where we get the opportunity, I'm gonna set this to 2K, to load up our high poly mesh. And we're gonna go in and select high poly street. I'm gonna set this to 2K as well. I'm gonna leave all of this alone. I'm just gonna turn off ID here. Let's uh, bake our maps and see whether our normal map looks okay or not. So here we go. And immediately you see the effect applied to our model. Let's just have that bake out. All right, so that uh, turned out okay. Uh, you can see that I, uh, you know, added some uh, height differences here and there on some bricks and some tiles. I actually even did some uh, indentations on the walls. You can't see that just uh, as good right now. But I think as far as a normal map bake, it turned out uh, pretty good, okay? So hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.